Well, hello there, and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who have seen this channel before, you will not be surprised that we're in Montana again. But what you might be surprised in today is what's going to be in our images. Buffalo. However, that will be tomorrow. Tonight, I have a bird's eye view of the Mission Mountains and the Mission Wilderness area. Let's take a look. We've got really good light right now. I'm in the um, I'm in the Garnet Range, mountain range. Uh, I've just uh, been spending the last I don't know couple hours up on a kind of a, a mountain road here, just like a, a log road like we have at home. Um, and I've been, you know, running up and down. Got a good rental, big gas guzzler, but uh, it's good for these back roads. Um, anyway, I've got some nice light heading up here, and all I'm doing is I'm stopping at this overlook here, which looks beautiful, and I'm just gonna go and, and do a couple shots here while the light is good, and then I'm gonna head back to my hotel. I, I still have about, I don't know, an hour or so to get back to my hotel. Anyway, I don't wanna, do too much here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get this shot while we still have some color and then uh, I'm going to move on. Okay, so here we go. All right. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm going to speak loudly. I don't have my microphone on, but I got just the last little bit of sun happening here. <clears throat> this is really beautiful. I'm not sure what this mountain range is. Looks like the Mission Mountain Range and Wilderness Area, uh, Blackfoot River, Elk Creek Drainage, uh, Swan Mountain Range. Very cool. Very cool stuff. But as you can see, hopefully, if I spin you over here, it's probably a bit bright. But we have uh, just a little bit of this uh, sun going down here. Um, there's going to be some color, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just try to get a pano of what I'm looking at right here. I love this mountain range here. And I don't think the color is going to get, I don't know what it's going to do, but I know as soon as the sun goes down below these mountains, we're going to be in trouble. So. so what do I mean about trouble? Well. As beautiful as I think this overlook is, I think the real star of the show uh, is the sidelight on the trees. Um, as you'll see here when we widen out to the full shot, it, it just, all the color and everything is, I think, in the trees and in the clouds. And without that sidelight, it just would not be the same. Sun's just going down over the mountain. I'm gonna get out of here. And might take another shot before it goes down. My hotel in Missoula. I just got, you know, I just kind of slept in. It, it was, I had all intentions on going out this morning uh, and going down to Lake Como, uh, but there was not a cloud in the sky when I woke up. There's still not a cloud in the sky. And to be honest, I'm, I just didn't want to drive an hour, almost two hours down to a lake with no clouds in the sky and no hope of any clouds in the sky. So, um, that's where we are. I'm going to go out. I'm going to try to find some things to do. I have a couple things in mind. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm going to check out and then we'll get to it. All right, come on.
Well, hey guys, how we doing? Welcome uh, back. We have um, arrived, I guess, at a place, well, it's a place I didn't expect to be going. And I didn't think about A friend of mine uh, told me about it. And I just can't thank them enough because it's really, really a wonderful place. Not because when I, when I started hearing about this bison range, I'm like, oh, cool. It's like, you know, going to be someplace that we're going to see some, you know, bison in their natural habitat. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me turn you around here and let me show you. Okay. So uh, how's that for someplace to be uh, eating lunch? I didn't have any idea. I mean, I knew that there are mountains like this around here, but man, <laughs> it's crazy. This is just, just a wonderful place. So I just got some shots uh, from here quickly just to grab them. I wanted to eat lunch. Um, and so I'm heading down where that car is coming from. I'm going to head up that way and see if I can get a closer shot to those mountains. And if you can see, there's yellow in there too. So there's going to be some flowers and stuff that I'm going to be hopefully going to be able to get. You're not supposed to get off of the road at all. It states that. And so we usually when it states that, that means don't. So I'm going to try not to, um, but I do hope I can get some of those flowers next to the road. Anyway, we're going to move on. We'll, uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, bye. Okay, I hope this is gonna work. It is like midday, it's sunny, yeah. but I have come across the most beautiful scene. It's pastoral. It's like a painting. It's like you couldn't even make it up like this. Let me turn you around here and I'll show you what we're talking about, okay? So, oh, wow, look at this. So I got cars coming too, so they're gonna think I'm crazy talking to myself. What I'm gonna do, if, if you can see, um, this is just, I mean, obviously, look at, uh, look at the mountain range back here coming right up to this tree and how it just kind of comes up and then comes down right into the tree here. It's just so beautiful. And then it continues on and we have more of the tree over here. And then what we also have is this right over here, which is just nuts. Um, but what I also like too is all of the, uh, the stuff that's right here. Uh, it's just wonderful. I got cars waiting for me. They must think I'm doing something, so I'm going to break off here. Well, it turns out they were fellow photographers that I guess thought I was standing in the right place, and so they stopped and we talked for a while, and I kind of felt like I was getting in the way and wanted to let them shoot, so I kind of got in a, a shot for just a record. I know where this place is. <laughs> I'll be back for sure. So I decided to head up the road just a few, just to see what else I could get. And I came up with this. Okay, well, you're not supposed to come out there, I don't think. Look at you. Wow. I don't think that you're supposed to come out. <laughs> okay, I'm in one of these tourist things that people do. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to back up. Okay, well, future self here. You know, as innocent as this looks, I really should have kept backing up. I mean, obviously there is no way that I was going to stay in the area and try to get another shot, right? Of course not. Uh, let's go back to the footage. Detail of all the flowers, okay? Um, so with me being at 5'6", that should be uh, depth of field. It's funny we have a buffalo who's right over there. <laughs> 
Okay, well, you know, he's far away, but he's not around a fence. He's not behind a fence. Eh, okay, okay. okay wait a minute. Play that one more time. He's not behind a fence. <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. That is the sound of somebody making a big mistake. Because you see what happened was the buffalo we were just looking at over by the fence, he decided to come around the back of me while I was setting up my next shot, and he flanked me. And evidently, I must have been like, hold on, I'm trying to get a shot here. Well, he closed distance pretty quickly, and I kind of hightailed it for the car. Actually, I kind of dropped everything, left it there, and hightailed for the car. So I guess, you know, it's, it's kind of plain to see that I didn't get that shot. I did get out of there, though, with my life, and I did get my cameras, and it really wasn't that big of a deal. But I will say that in all seriousness, if you guys find yourself in that situation, <laughs> just don't forget your cameras. Wow.